Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey all, welcome back to another art journal page. It's going to be slightly Christmassy but mostly flowery. So I have planned to play, I have those uh, Paul Rubens uh, metallic watercolors but I also have like the Liquitex ink muted colors I have some um, <laughs> ink acrylic ink sorry uh, and I also have the Amsterdam acrylic ink I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet but I know I'm gonna make a background with the metallic watercolors because a little bit shimmer from time to time is really nice and I actually think I'm just gonna as you can see I don't clean my palette that often so I actually gonna mm, paint it in very loosely just around the bigger shapes and then I go in with the uh, inks later there's going to be a lot of this part of this uh, art journal page going to be in time lapse I'm uh, going to speed it up I just want to play a little bit if you want to have a printable that's what I wanted to say let me know in the comments so I could put it up in my free member area which is over at www.beagrop.com It is probably up in the i-court somewhere here <laughs> Oops, yeah, I didn't plan to go over the leaves but oh well Then I'm gonna do that, that as well So the page is dry and I did also grab the leftover watercolor paper because I don't know exactly how those look like and I'm just going to test them on some watercolor paper before I use it. I have the Liquitex Muted Turquoise, then I have a Muted Grey and a Muted Violet and a Muted Green and I think I'm going to start with the Muted Green for the leaves. And I use uh, a palette with some welts in it, so just so that I can separate the, the paints a little bit. And I do have a turquoise green from Amsterdam. I'm uh, going to see what happens with that. Hmm, no, not turquoise. Uh, I actually wanted the permanent green light. Let's see what that looks like. I probably only need a little bit. It's my guess. <laughs> so I do use the watercolor brushes but I make sure that I after I'm done that I really wash them really thoroughly with some uh, brush soap. I do have on the side the uh, 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 household paper that just dab my my brush real quick to get rid of too much liquid
So I have sketched this uh, piece with uh, pencil first and then went over with uh, micron pen just to give me some guidelines. I'm going to go over with some more pens afterwards. Okay, it is dry. It's time for some either gel pens or I do have the Posca pen. I do have a gold and a silver. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. But I start first with some black. I'm going to outline my things again and this time I'm a little bit more careful. And hmm. Yeah, I, I just like the outline things. It's not for everybody, but I like it. So I'm gonna doodle and outline a little bit while you hear, while you can listen to some music.
I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.